the big common thing between uh, yoga and music is definitely connection. We really need this for the world, this kind of concerto. I was also very much interested to have a composition for the Basset clarinet because there's basically only the Mozart clarinet concerto written for the instrument and it's such a precious instrument that I thought it was just absolutely the right thing to do to commission a piece. So I was lucky, um, the Borletti Buitoni Trust um, helped and also BBC Radio 3, they loved the idea and so that's how the commission um, yeah, started. Who could possibly write this concerto? And I was thinking, oh, probably an Indian composer or... <laughs> and it was actually so obvious because I'm Belgian myself and in Belgium there's Wim Hendricks and he's writing pieces based on all these themes since 30 years. So it was very logical to ask Wim and he was very, very busy and, you know, normally a composer would tell you, oh, call me back in five years <laughs> and we'll talk about it. But he loved the idea and he said, okay, that's exactly what I would like to do. So that's how the whole piece, yeah, started to, to become alive. The name of the concerto Sutra um, comes from uh, a book, a person called Patanjali. He was a yogi and he would explain exactly what yoga is to his students. So the students actually, they wrote down little notes, small sutras. I build it up in four movements, four different movements. Eh? The first is the pranayama, which is the breath of life. And then it comes the meditation, so the, the idea of taking a rest, going inside of yourself. And then in the third movement, it's a kind of really outburst of energy. When you do yoga, there is always an energy. And the third movement is a thrilling movement full of crescendos and, and rhythmical gestures. In this last movement, the fourth uh, part, it, it's one relaxation to really come into a kind of almost like beautiful aesthetical sound world. So I really wanted to make a journey with the audience. The last movement of the concerto is called Samadhi. It's actually the highest state uh, a yogi could reach in his, uh, in his practice. So it's not a very conscious state, a little bit like in a flow. So um, yeah, if you want to find out how it feels, just listen to the album, I would say.